episode was a lot of power leveling. You know, people were saying that they enjoy the perspective of the spider more than the human realm, but so far, based off of just the last four episodes, in my opinion, the human perspective is a lot more fascinating to me, just because they're kind of touching upon some of the different mechanisms and the rules of this world and so far, right? And the fact that they're in the future while we're in the past. Now, it's not to say that the spider part is boring. It's just that all we did was just kind of a power level, right? We did get to realize, though, that we are in this great labyrinth of Elro. Who is this Elro person? Who knows? But it's probably most likely like this place is the most like end game content territory, right? So usually in Isekai, we sometimes you're like spawned or you start off in like a really end game place, just like, you know, reincarnate as a slime. And you don't really know how important or strong you really become when you come outside because you thought that you don't really know any better, right? So it's going to be really interesting when we actually get out of the cave and we actually meet with the humans. But bro, is that ever going to happen? Let's begin today's reaction. I mean, you did turn into a spider. It's a kind of shit roll. Yo, she's sounding so depressed today. Usually she... Oh, yeah, we got to this new region, right? Yeah. We got to survive here now. What happens if the fire reaches... What, what happens if the fire reaches her butthole? What happens? Careful. Literally. Elro. What is an Elro, man? Great Elro Labyrinth Middle Stratum. An area located between the upper stratum and the lower stratum of the Great Elro Labyrinth. Because right before we were like, um, kind of like, uh, what's the word? Like, upper middle, but now we're finally kind of in the middle area, right? The entire area is a volcanic landscape with flowing magma and inhabited by monsters with resistance to fire. So I guess here we're just going to do a little bit more le like leveling, kind of figure out, I don't know, maybe we'll get like heat resistance and shit like that too, yeah? It's just more, it's just more training here for us. But your webs, it, you know, they counter you. We need to get fire resistant web if that's possible. I've never ate natto, but I hear it kind of just tastes like ass. It's like an acquired flavor we're outside of the magma place now she's being all defeatist today so far she's always found a, a way out you know you tell me. Yeah, honestly, probably smart. Level up, get stronger. We're kind of like out level for that region, maybe. All right. Last time we killed all the monkeys, literal monkeys, and we got all the EXP. So it's small poison tyrotech, right? A rare subspecies of the tyrotech of a spider monster possessed with incredibly potent venom. So we're gonna probably we went that way, right? What's the other one? All right, never mind. So we're gonna just continue to become more venomous, fast, small. Wait! New fit! New skin, dude! Other was just normal tower attack? Interesting. It's just like, not does poison. It just kind of does other shit. Oh, dude, our speed like literally doubled. It's 637 now. Holy shit. Way faster. 200 skill points saved up. Last time we had a hundred, right? And we wasted... Do we have a hundred skill points last time when we first began? Or was it ten? Anyways, we used it all on appraisal, right? <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of skills. That, that's so many skills. I don't even... Talisman? What is... Ta Eggling? <laughs> what? You could just have... Lay... Eggling? Can we... Can we have a spider army? Can... Because we have a mama spider, but can we become the mama spider? You know? Have little kids and they, they, they like fight with us, you know? Instead of just like solo party, we could have like, I don't know, fucking like 10 spiders like fucking people up. What the fuck is probability correction? <laughs> the subtitles got flipped and upside down because, you know, she's hanging upside down. <laughs> We need something different if we can't use webs. Pride. What the fuck is pride? Pride. She's literally right to get it right now. A pride sounds really cool though. Pride? What is that? It's doing that N percent again. Remember there was like the N percent W equals I or some shit that was in their stat menu before? 
and present the power necessary to achieve God hood God <laughs> that sounds fucking OP you we should go for that exceed the W system and interfere with the MA field what the fuck does that mean but we did see M percent W equals I or some shit. What W is important? W is okay in class. You have the S class system. The S system. We have the fucking W system. All right, don't tell me about it though. I don't get it either. Intervention and signal. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, it's an evolve form. Evolve form. I'm here for your shitty jokes. Don't worry. No, we're listening. Revises her growth? But isn't like pride really strong, right? Isn't pride like one of the most like deadliest sins? Shouldn't that be like super OP? I, I take it. I would take it, dude. Hmm? There's an ampers See, there's the M percent W equals I again. Yeah, this, this sorry, M percent I equals W. My bad, I had the formula wrong. Pride, here we go. Pride of a spider? So I'm a spider, so what? I feel like the title of this anime is like saying, hey, you look down on me, so I'm a spider, so what? You know, pride, have some spider pride. How does this work? Yes! Taboo increased. Nice. Taboo. I do remember that skill, yeah. And Frey also has Kin Eater, right? We both have Kin Eater. We're both from like probably some from the same place because we saw the Earth Dragon before. Why is there such parallels between these two characters? And the fact that she bullied us back on Earth. Taboo. Those who have violated a taboo obtain this skill. You must never level it up? The conditions have been met. You have acquired the title Ruler of Pride. Due to the effects of Ruler of Pride title, you have acquired the skills Abyss Magic Level 10 in Hades. I think choosing Pride was the best choice we've ever made. Suddenly, we're getting all these crack skills out of nowhere, but it says you must never level it up. Taboo. What is the consequences of this? What happens if we... Do this? Um... Ah, whatever, fuck it. Fuck it, whatever, let's just go. It's too late. Ruler of pride. <laughs> Sounds kind of insane, man. What the fuck is Hades? The Lord of, like, the underworld? Increased by hundreds? Magic power is an abyss magic, abyssal darkness. What? All right, I'm not gonna complain either if the numbers go up. Fuck it. Let's go all pride. Huh. Manifest Hades? What, do we fucking summon Hades himself? She just fell down. Okay, let's try it. Manifest Hades! Hey! Duh! Ease and it didn't work. Well, last time we tried to summon poison synthesis, something, same thing happened. Do we become Hades? Like what? Alright, back into the magma chamber. HP auto recovery. Demon Lord level 1. So, I feel like... Up until now, the progression has been kind of slow, but we have gotten stronger. But all of a sudden, after taking pride and evolving, we have suddenly power spiked. The, like, like we just hit like a turning point. I think that we're super cracked now. Oh, Holy shit. <laughs> Did she actually become the last boss? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you think this is a gym? Spider demon. Like, in the human timeline, is she the demon lord right now? 
in the human timeline, what is what is she right now? You know, because like you gotta really wonder, like, what is she up to? How does she play in the story within the human timeline? Enemies are kind of attacking, but like, is she behind it? I'm not sure. All right, back to the humans. Back to the humans. Is Frey getting bigger? Frey's getting bigger! Yo, Frey should be evolving soon too, huh? But she did evolve. Furries, relax. Relax, furries. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let's see it. That's right, Scaly's actually. This is not a furry, this is a Scaly. Alright, she's got like pretty good stats. Monsters do have better stat growth than humans after all. Another important thing to know, monsters just better stat growth, okay? Ain't no way you guys are typing wood in chat right now. Yeah, are we ever gonna see Yurius Nisama? Hmm. Wakaba. Wakaba. Spider. Faye needs her own spot at school now. Yo, does Faye actually like attend school and do homework, or does she not? Cause she's a familiar. You know, does, does she actually do tests and shit, or like what? How does that work? <laughs> oh my god, it's the prince! Yo, look at Sue over here. Sue is literally looking, eyeing everyone down like, you motherfucker, that's my brother. But our reputation is pretty good because last episode, we saved everybody, right? The teamwork was on point. Hugo looked like an idiot, though. Yo, the more they worship us like this, the more Hugo's gonna get upset. Faye did all that! She got the last blow in! Champion. Alright, Sue. Alright, Sue. Hugo. Wait, he's sitting all the front now? Bro, try to be a little bit more discreet. What the fuck? Bro sits all the way at the front now? Yeah, I'm very worried for him. I don't know, man. He's got a, we got a target on our back. Skill up! Skill up! Skill up! My favorite character, dude. Are you sure it was the gods? It's a goddess. Her look in her eyes is really scary. It's very obsessive. It's, it's straight up like Church of Scientology, man. Sure. Oh, yeah. If you see anyone with a skill name called Taboo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Taboo. We have it. Um... Does Faye have Taboo, though? Faye only has Kin Eater. But don't you get Taboo when you do something Taboo-like, like Kin Eater? Does Faye have Taboo, too, or no? Last episode, she got Kin Eater for eating, you know, her kin, but... She did get Taboo? Does she have it? Okay, alright. Well, the church wants to know if anyone has Taboo. Interesting. Okay, okay, interesting. Kink. No one should be allowed. The God declares a taboo. Does that mean that God has this system? Does that mean that the God created like the W system or some shit? Or, or what? The God, wait. The wording here is very intentional, right? The wording here is very intentional. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah. Taboo. God declares it taboo. God didn't create it, he just declares it. Ah, oh, fuck. I like this church girl a lot, but she's a fucking religious nut job, which I should have known, but if she just considers them, they shouldn't even deserve to live. Still, I still kind of like her. She's still funny to me, but fuck, it looks like we're gonna have to, the, the bridge is burning. This is not looking good for church girl. Okay. No, it's not a promise. She's kind of scary now. No, you're kind of scary now. She's sick in the head. Hey, don't you wait. The followers of the word of God provide aid to the hero. Interesting. So the God side, they support the hero. And Sue's getting cut as usual. Julius Nisama. Julius got the backing of the church? Patronage under the word of God. Sounds like Julius is burdened with all this shit. We need to talk to Julius, man. Patronage of the God. Church. 
That was, okay, I'm not forgetting about the taboo. I feel like that dialogue there was so important for the plot. Okay, okay. <laughs> She's insane. She didn't used to act like that because Yuri is obviously the girl that she was back in Japan, but now she's totally turned into... Well, they never grew up together, right? Hasabe probably got spawned into the church and they just got the church indoctrination. Yo, I would love to get, get to see the, the, the fat flashback of like how Hasabe has been spending time at the church growing up here. That would be super fucking interesting. Yeah, how does the, what did the church do to them? Yo, straight up brainwashed. Skill up! Skill up! Boring! Okay, <laughs> they just fucking skipped a lesson. Alright. No, you're a demon lord now. Oh! Okay, that was a little nice, Natsuko girl. Drop poison in the magma. Well, you got new skills, though. Operation and perception. I feel like the teacher's lecture is literally going to be like what Wakaba's doing right now. Like, her explaining, going through this and learning it by herself is pretty much like the lecture that the teacher would have given us. Operation? Yeah. Crazy reference to Wukong. Abyss magic. Sounds crazy, man. Alright, time to eat. I want to see her new demon lord powers. What the fuck? Another earth dragon. Yo, there's so many earth dragons in here. Holy shit, this is stacked. A different evo evo evolution form of an earth dragon, right? Run. We are outmatched. That stats are actually insane, yeah. Four digits worth? She's so fast though, though. <laughs> the magma looks so much better compared to the fucking cracked eight earth dragon. I was like, why is he there? Isn't that too high of a level to be around? Yeah, we have auto recovery too for HP now. Elro Gunnerish. The stats are really low though. But the prestige might be high. Yo, look at these sidesteps. <laughs> Look at these sidesteps! What is- it's almost- Like I just wanna fucking smack it, but it's too far away! What do we do? <laughs> like it's right in front of us. Dodge. Oh, you can actually walk up here. What are those new balls on her... I don't even know what to call that, her ass. I'm just gonna call her a fucking dump truck. What, what is those new balls? Were they always there? It's just her new outfit, right? Ah, uh, when it... Oh, it's too hot to bite! This is bullshit! Hey, we did it. It's probably so hot, though. Ew. Oh, cause like the meat's all cooked up like that, right? Well, this one looks huge. Uh, the stats? Not too high. No, it's fine. Careful now. Just quietly and it noticed us. There's a two of them. There's two of them. She's spamming that back step today. Poison Whip, this is new. I don't think we've ever used Poison Whip before, right? <laughs> what if it reaches all the way to her butt? But it's only 4 HP. Is it gonna keep ticking? Yes. Poison too. Deadly spider venom, it's just become more potent, okay. Wait, scared of us? Pussy? Run away! That's why I swim away! I feel like she has gotten way stronger though. A 
Poor skill. Ruler of Pride. What the fuck is this? So we got the Abyss Magic, the Hades, Requirements Obtain Pride, Effect, MP Magic Resistance stats are increased. Basically, all the stats are increased, right? Positive correction to mental skill proficiencies. What does that even mean? Obtain access, access to ruling class. What is a ruling class privilege? So like if it's like pride and you're calling yourself the ruling class, you know how humans would look down on spiders? So is this basically like spider supremacy? Like we're just like the gods now? Is, is that what she's doing? Explanation. The title bestowed to one who has conquered pride. What does this actually mean? Does How does this apply to our powers later? <laughs> Ruling class privileges. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's currently unable to exercise her authority. Why? Why can't we? <laughs> no, I want to use it. I love how she's just glossing over it. These are such important things. She's like, oh, what are these? Ah, who cares? Let's just eat the salamander or the catfish. It's like, no, this shit's super important. <laughs> Is it good? He's crying. He's crying. Is it good? <laughs> Finally, tasty food. Yo, they put more animation quality into her eating scenes compared to the fighting scenes, dude. Look at the tears flowing down her face. She does have an insane appetite though, like this little thing just consumes and devours everything. Catfish burger. <laughs> Please. She straight up just ate the entire thing. She did it with the snake too. I wonder if that means anything that she has a huge appetite. She just always has such fun with the leveling process. I think that's one of the best things about this show. post credit scene. Human party. Elro Labyrinth. Is that Julius Nisa? That's Julius! That's him! Hair, hair, hair! Hair is blue! I think we saw like a... Like, 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 like a picture of him when Shun was talking about Julius. That's him! The hero! Julius Nisama. Path leads to the middle stratum of the. So, we're gonna meet the hero. And the timeline. But the but 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 but, but who knows when the fuck this timeline is, right? But, but but like imagine like the timeline matches when Wakaba is in the middle stratum right now, and like Julius is like somehow here. I don't know how that would even make. He's a big brother. Maybe he, this is like young Julius. He's kind of like training right now. I don't know when this time period. But if they meet. Huh. Truly becomes dangerous. But like, how old is he at this point, right? Like, I, it's gotta be the current timeline. It cannot be where Wakaba is back in the past because that, but when Wakaba is here right now, I'm assuming all the reincarnated people are literal babies that just got spawned. Like, if, assuming we all spawn at the same time and we're like growing up at the same age, right? So like Yulia's being already like how old is Yulia? Is he straight up a fucking boomer? Maybe it makes sense. It's kind of it's very you know what I mean. It's hard to kind of gauge what a timeline is, but we'll see, we'll see. But finally we get to see Yulia's man, and my God, we might actually get the encounter. And like, if this is the current timeline, right? No, it doesn't make sense because I'm like thinking like what if Wakaba like kills Julius or some shit, but it's like, no, he's still alive in the present timeline. I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know, but that's the episode. Very interesting episode from the human aspect again. Well, no, actually, the spider side was very interesting too, because she evolved into a small spite, a small, like, um, poison spider, but at the same time, her pride got increased, right? And when pride got increased, taboo also got increased, and it says taboo is a skill that should never be leveled up. In fact, the game system told us that it should never be leveled up. But as soon as we did that, suddenly we got other shit like Demon Lord, Abyss Magic, fucking Manifest Hades. These are no longer simple spiderweb poison skills, you know? This is like summoning a Demon Lord or some shit. Getting very interesting. And the W system. What is that? M percent I, sorry, M percent W equals I or some shit. I still don't know, man. This is super important though. I'm really trying to pay attention to what's going on. Hopefully I'm getting enough clues. Faye continues to evolve and get stronger. She too has taboo. 
she is also the kin eater. She's, there's so much parallels between this girl and Wakaba man. And like, the church girl now is straight up saying, and the church girl, I love the church girl. I thought she was hilarious because she kept yelling, skill up, skill up, skill up. But now she's like, hey, do you know anyone taboo? Let me know, because we got to kill them. They don't deserve to live. No, no, no. And I'm like, oh, oh, what the fuck? You're kind of terrifying me now. I want to know about her past with the church and how kind of the church operates, because there's something suspicious going on. Well, maybe there isn't. Maybe the church is truly good people and you're just trying to look out for other people that may be increasing taboo because taboo just sounds kind of bad, you know? But they were so fixated on it. It's like, hey, if you know the skill taboo, let me know because that's what the god has declared bad. Did the god create this W system? I don't really know, but the god pretty much cons like just basically said taboo is bad. I'm not really sure. The plot is thickening. And I'm kind of cooking, but not enough. I'm trying to hold on to it, but not enough. We need more answers, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.